breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. What I mean by you can't defeat Biafra showing car reviews. What I mean by you can't defeat Biafra showing car reviews. So my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. Noble laureate Professor Wale Shoyinka as as what he meant when he said you can never defeat Biafra. As he noted that he was not referring to a battlefield engagement of the secessionist group. Professor Shoyinka made the clarification in an interview on Channels TV. While responding to a question on the civil war, agitators and history saying a lot of Nigerians misunderstood him when he said, you can never defeat Biafra. According to him, I was very desperate for the for that, the war, not to happen. First, I thought it was a wrong war. No war is right, but this one was particularly bad. The Igbo, no question at all, underwent the experience of genocide. The memory of such traumatizing experience conjures especially towards their immediacy, but it can burst out again any other time. When I made a statement that you can never defeat Biafra, people took a very simplistic, um, simplistic reasoning of that. They thought I was just referring to the battlefield. No, I was talking about the idea that the idea has taken hold of some of those who don't know the full history because the people were not themselves blameless. When I met Ojuku, he spoke very frankly and when I met him in Ivory Coast, I asked, I asked him some questions like, why did you shoot Victor Banjo and others? He gave some very satisfactory answers. I met him again when I did a program for BBC Channel for Entitled Journeys. And I did recapture the journey to Biafra. I interviewed. Former head of state during civil war, go on, Ojuku, Achuzi, and all those who were involved in the war. These were reminders, and it is a lesson for the past. If history is inculcated in schools, you won't have people talking so glibly about the possibility of another war. you will have more people inclined to dialogue. There are individuals who have ends across different parts of the country. These are people who are history conscious. Retired General Ike Unwachuku, Dr. Ezeife, and so many others are history conscious. So, they don't want to see a rustic place. There is this necessity not just to teach history in schools, but also to make it part and parcel of our civic consciousness in numerous ways. I think that even the cinema has a role to play in this regard.
Noble Laureate Professor Wale Shoyinka asked what he meant when he said, You can never defeat Biafra. As he noted that he was not referring to a battlefield engagement of the secessionist group. Professor Shoyinka made a clarification in an interview on Channels TV while responding to a question on the civil war, agitators and history saying a lot of Nigerians misunderstood him when he said you can never defeat Biafra. According to him, I was very desperate for that, the war, not to happen. First, I thought it was a wrong war. No war is right, but this one was particularly bad. The Edo, no question at all, underwent the experience of genocide. The memory of such traumatizing experience conjures, especially towards their immediacy, but it can burst out again any other time. When I made a statement that you can never defeat Biafra, people took a very simplistic reasoning of that. They thought I was just referring to the battlefield. No, I was talking about the idea that the idea has taken hold of some of those who don't know the full history because the people were not themselves blameless. When I met Ojuku, he spoke very frankly and when I met him in Ivory Coast, I asked him some questions like why did you shoot Victor Banjol and others? So my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of all today's news. Please do drop by the comment section and let's know.